Hello everyone and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. So today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite fish and also my newest addition to my 125 gallon and that's the tile fish. And in particular, I got the purple tile fish, which is one of my favorites and also very beautiful. So stay tuned and don't you go anywhere. The purple tile fish is one of my favorites due to its beautiful lilac body color and crimson red markings along the outer edges of its tail. It's definitely an eye-catching piece to have among a reef aquarium. That being said, the purple tile fish is definitely reef safe. It is more on the peaceful side with other fish, but it can get testy at times, especially towards members of its own species. The purple tile fish should be acclimated to an aquarium of at least 50 gallons. It needs plenty of room to swim since it's very active. It will also need at least three inches of sand for burrowing. The tile fish may be very timid when adjusting to a new environment. So making sure that it gets proper nutrition is very important. I've actually had to spot feed my tile fish initially to make sure that they were getting the food that they needed. Tile fish will also need to be fed at least twice a day due to its very active lifestyle and given a variety of foods such as myces, brine shrimp, and other meaty substances. The number one fatality for a tile fish is jumping from the tank. Tile fish are known to be extremely skittish and fast moving. Once they're more comfortable with their surroundings, they'll spend a majority of their time swimming and skimming the top of the waters. Unfortunately, if there is any way for them to jump, they'll find a way out. This is why when acquiring a tile fish, it is extremely important to have a tightly sealed top on your aquarium. One of the main reasons the tile fish ranks high on my list of favorites is because once your tile fish comes out of its shell, it will eat right out of the palm of your hand and it will completely bond with you. It's the extraordinary connection that I find so special about this fish. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my video on the tile fish and found it very informative. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. It's always greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I answer every question that you have. Also, if you haven't checked out my Patreon page. Patreon is a platform where I can continue sharing the work that I love, answering the questions that you may have, and sharing bits of my personal life all within a more private community. Signing up is very simple and you can cancel at any time. You can find a link to my Patreon page in the information section of this video. I want to give a big thank you to everyone who supports my Patreon page and supports me here on YouTube. All your positive feedback is always greatly appreciated and I thank you for that. Also, if you have a tile fish yourself and had good or bad experiences, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. I want to give a huge thank you to all my patrons. Your support means more than words can express.